Korean dramas which has most kissing scenes. Number 1. Her Private Life, 2019. Deok Mi, a dedicated art curator, leads a double life. By day, she's the epitome of professionalism, but by night, she transforms into a passionate fangirl of the popular idol Shirin. Deok Mi fiercely guards her secret for fear it might jeopardize her career and past relationships. However, things get complicated when Ryan, the handsome and mysterious new director of the gallery, stumbles upon her hidden fandom. Instead of judgment, Ryan finds himself inexplicably drawn to Deok Mi's genuine and enthusiastic nature. Number 2. Walk of Love, 2018. S.A.E. Wu, meaning sweet shrimp, lives a life of privilege and leisure, she accepted no gifts on her wedding day because her father gave her a check for 300 million won, and she enjoys horseback riding and fencing. Her greatest moment in life happens to coincide with a random bowl of jajangmyeon, which leads her to undergo a big change and begin a new life. Number 3. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, 2018 Miso, the personal secretary, is the only person who can resolve problems for young Jun. She has been working silently by his side for nine years, supporting him throughout. However, one day, Miso decides to resign, which determines young Jun to do whatever it takes to keep her. In an effort to retain Kim Miso, Young Jun begins a series of actions, including changing his own attitude and behavior, and his emotional interaction with Miso. He hopes to make Miso reconsider her decision to resign and return to his side. In this process, the relationship between Young Jun and Miso gradually changes. They start to understand each other more deeply, while also facing various challenges in their careers and feelings. Number 4. I Need Romance 3, 2014. Ju Yun is a 33-year-old fashion marketing director at a home shopping channel company. She's developed a tough, prickly outer shell in order to succeed in the workplace and has almost given up on the idea of true love after countless failures in the relationship department. Ju Wan is a 26-year-old songwriter and carefree spirit, who returns to Korea after 17 years of living abroad. Up until the age of 9, he was practically raised by his mom's friend and her daughter, Ju Yun. While she only remembers him as a kid she was forced to play with when her mom was busy, all of Ju Wan's early memories, from bath time, to play time, to learning how to tie his shoelaces, include her. Upon meeting again, he aims to heal Ju Yun's jaded sense of romance. Number 5. Clean with Passion for Now, 2018. Sun Jiol has wealth and good looks but suffers from severe misophobia. He is obsessed with cleaning and even owns a cleaning company. However, he meets a carefree and untidy girl named Oh Sol after she enters his company as a new employee. Oh Sol has worked all sorts of part-time jobs while striving for a full-time job and does not have the luxury to date or be clean. She gave up on being neat after facing the tough reality of the world and is known for always wearing her trademark tracksuit. But she has a bright personality and does not mind getting dirty. With the help of Oh Sol, Sun Jiol faces his misophobia and also falls in love with her. Number 6. Suspicious Partner, 2017. Ji Wook is a brainiac prosecutor and Bong Hee is a rookie Justice Department intern, who always seems to find herself in the most unfortunate and embarrassing situations. Bong Hee is falsely accused of murdering her ex-boyfriend, and Ji Wook gets demoted because he risks his career and reputation to save Bong Hee. Things get complicated as their careers and love lives get entangled, but one thing brings them together, catching the real culprit responsible for a series of murders before they run out of time and get themselves killed. Number 7. W2 Worlds, 2016. Sung Moo, the father of cardiothoracic surgeon Yun Ju, mysteriously goes missing while writing the last chapter of his webtoon, W. Yun Ju goes to his office looking, 
but a hand from his monitor suddenly pulls her in, and she finds herself on the rooftop of a building, next to a bloodied man. She manages to save the person, only to realize that he is Kong Chiol, the main character of her father's webtoon. Yunju later discovers she can only enter and leave the webtoon depending on Kong Chiol's feelings. Number 8. Nevertheless, 2021. Jae-on finds dating a waste of time but likes to flirt. Even though he is friendly and cheerful towards all, he does not pursue others. He is a master of a push and pull who doesn't get swept up in emotions. He draws firm lines between himself and other people and doesn't reveal how he feels. Yet when he meets Nabi, he wants to cross those lines. Nabi wants to date but doesn't trust love. After a bitter experience with her first love, she doesn't believe in destiny anymore. But when she meets Jae on, he has a magical effect on her that challenges Nabi's decision to stay aloof. Number 9. Healer, 2015. Young Hu is a special kind of night courier, known only as Healer, by his clients. For the right price and with the help of a genius hacker, he gets his clients whatever they want, as long as it doesn't involve murder. His latest job leads him to a second-rate tabloid writer, Young Shin, and the successful reporter, Kim Moon Ho. He begins to uncover the mystery of his own shared past with the two reporters, thus putting them all in danger. Number 10. Something in the Rain, 2018. Jean Na is a woman in her mid-30s who doesn't know yet what it's like to date a man. She's been dumped by a man many times because of her clumsy, reckless, and foolish behavior. And again, a man she wanted to marry dumps her for the worst reason ever, that she's like bland, which means she's not attractive at all as a woman. Just then, June he appears before her with a broad smile on his face. He's as refreshing as a soft drink. Jun He is Jean Na's childhood friend's younger brother, who used to live next door. Jean Na has always remembered him as a little kid, but one day, he comes back as a really masculine man. When she is surprised by his change, her gut feeling tells her that she would truly fall in love this time.